What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Scott Jaw here with another episode of Left 4 Dead Tuesday. And this week, we are going to be looking at the survival map, Terminal, which is based on the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and I believe it's also in Modern Warfare 3, a multiplayer map, Terminal. And you'll notice the first minute of the video is uh, fast forwarded so you can get an idea of what it looks like if you're not familiar with this map and if you are familiar just to see that it is pretty spot on as far as the original terminal map goes and you'll notice that little thing is a map and you can pick where you want your kill streak to be dropped they do actually drop kill streaks and sandwich and I didn't get past the first three minute kill streak uh, which is a care package which you'll see a little bit later in the video um, part of this map it is blocked off like you cannot get into the airplane the windows are not smashable in order to jump outside but there is quite a bit of fun to have on this map now it's pretty small and there's a lot of clutter in the map so I found myself being uh, capped because I would get stuck against like a bench or something like that and I've also noticed there's quite a bit of special infected on this particular survival map I think at one point in time there are two tanks, a uh, charger, all, all kinds of stuff all at the same time. So it's kind of hard and you'll come over here and see that this is the care package, the three minute kill streak. I'm assuming the next stuff would be a lot better but really what do you get better than health packs in Left 4 Dead? Uh, you're not going to get a predator missile or anything like that which would be amazing. You'll see outside and there is the first tank. <laughs> sandwiched through a uh, Molotov at him. You notice I got stuck on that bench, which would be great for Call of Duty. You're sitting there crowd shooting people, but not so great in Left 4 Dead when you're trying to run away. And there's Sandwich over in the corner. He would run away this entire game. I know where to be found. And bots were, uh, <laughs> they're not too reliable when you're trying to stay alive. You'll see all, there's a lot of writing in Russian, so I don't know if the person that made this rap, this rap, who made this map, is from Russia. But it's nice, and I try to get the Blacklight Retribution skins for the uh, the survivors. But for whatever reason, my Steam has been going haywire lately. Couldn't play anything in Gmod yesterday, and I had to reload Left 4 Dead like five times before I could actually get this map to load up which is kind of odd, because usually Left 4 Dead and, and most Source games are pretty spot on when it comes to um, just working right out of the box, so to speak. Let's see, you hear all kinds of people coming. And if you hear a little sniffle, it's because I'm, I, I'm starting to get a cold, so I'll apologize in advance, I probably sound a little weird. Can't help it, it's uh, weather is changing in SoCal, which means Scott's sinuses and allergies are going to go crazy. Look at that, stuck again. This time I'm stuck on the head of a dead tank, as another tank comes up and punches me right in my face. And we're going to fast forward a little bit, because it's all pretty much the same. Just want you to get the idea of the map. We're four minutes in, seven is the silver standard, and you'll notice up here, a smoker has Rochelle and there's actually two smokers up there which you never really see multiple special infected at the same time in a regular Left 4 Dead campaign or even survival map so whoever made this map they really want to make us feel the pain because there are multiple special infected at one time and for whatever reason you'll notice there a charger was punching me a jockey's little bitch ass jumped on my head and now I have all kinds of zombies just stockpiling on top of me. Somebody better hopefully come and save me, but you hear there is another charger in the background. So this is kind of the lull before the storm. The final wave right before we die is coming up, and it is gnarly. So five minutes is when it starts to kick in, shit gets real, and survivors start dropping like flies. There another another charger runs up, punches in the face. And this map does have quite a bit of weapons laid out around. So it's always good. You can always reload on ammo. There's some ammo back by the metal detectors. A couple weapons in here. When you go down the escalators to the uh, bottom portion of the map, there are some weapons and frag rounds, things like that down there. But as soon as I murder these kids, I'm going to 
get another gun because I don't really like using a shotgun in survival. Weapons over here. Alright, so you'll see there's two tanks over there, and the spitter is actually running after me, which I don't think has ever happened. There is a jockey, there is a charger just pile driving me, and I think you know how this ends. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe for more Left 4 Dead Tuesdays. Until next time, guys, peace.